Okay, so we're back to Amazon.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to come up with profitable niches and markets in the fiction space. Now, the fiction space is actually much bigger than the nonfiction market is on Amazon and on Kindle. Uh, there could be a lot of potential in the fiction market because a lot of it's fairly untapped, and a lot of the, the writers uh, that are writing books in the fiction space, they're not really marketers, meaning they don't know a lot of the stuff that you're going to learn in this K Money Mastery program. So I found that you have an incredible advantage over a lot of the fiction writers because you know they're great at writing books, but they're not really great at optimizing their books and marketing them the best way to make a lot of money. So I found there's a lot of great advantages and opportunity in the fiction space as well as nonfiction. Nonfiction is great as well. Um, but there are also some disadvantages I, I find out as well. Uh, one, when it comes to producing your book in the fiction space, the books have to be written uh, much differently than a nonfiction book. When it comes to nonfiction, um, you know, the people that are reading those books and looking for them, they're more looking for the information, the factual step-by-step -step information that can help them solve their problem. You know, if they're buying a book on a diet, they're just looking for the step-by-step -step plan that's going to help them lose weight and implement the diet. Whereas with a fiction book, people are buying more of a story. They want to be entertained. They want to be engaged. They're not looking for factual information. So as a result of that, the book typically has to be higher quality and uh, higher quality books typically mean that you have to invest a little bit more money to get them written. So that's something that you want to keep in mind when you're looking for fiction markets. But I do recommend that you still pursue uh, the fiction markets because there's a lot of potential, a lot of opportunity to make a lot of money from them. And in a later lesson, we're going to cover how to get your book written, the covers done, all that sort of stuff. And the great thing is, you know, when it comes to hiring a writer for fiction, in many cases, you could just give them the topic and then they can write the story for you and you can allow them to use their creativity to come up with a story. So you don't have to be a storyteller or be really creative in this process. You can leave that to the writers once you hire them. So the process of finding profitable niches and ideas is similar to what I shared in nonfiction. Where here on Amazon.com, you're going to want to go to shop by department, come back to the Kindle bookstore. And again, check out the bestseller list. And you know, you can see here there's a lot of fiction type markets and ideas. So for example, you know, if I jump into mystery, thriller, and suspense, I can click there and get some potential ideas here. Now, the challenge is uh, with this, just looking at the bestseller list, is that a lot of these books here. You know, they're great books written by all different types of authors and everything, but there's no consistent niche or keyword that you're going to find in the titles of these books. And so what I like to look more for more more for when I do my research for this is the categories here. So for example, thriller, okay? So what I would do is go here to the Kindle store and type in thriller. And just by scrolling down here, what I'm looking for is to see all the different books that have the keyword thriller in the title. So for example, these ones here, you know, they're not really optimized for the keyword thriller because they don't have that word thriller in their title. If I come down here though, this one right here has the keyword thriller. So, you know, based on what this person's doing here, and they've also you can see they have keywords murder, darkness, suspense, thriller, twisted plot, mystery, investigate, etc. They're using these keywords for different fiction markets, and they've optimized their book for that. If you come down here, here's another book uh, that's optimized for the keyword thriller. Uh, here's another one, thriller. And so this is just giving us an idea that you know this is a potential niche in market. So again, I like it's a little bit more complicated and not as simple as the nonfiction example that I gave. But by looking through here, we're able to identify okay, thriller. You know that could be a potential idea that you might want to write down. And when you have that that topic of thriller, when you go to the writer, they then have the freedom to again write uh, you know a, a type of book as long as it's related to the topic of thriller. Okay, it's in that genre. In the same way, you know if you search through here. Here it is romance. Okay, now if I type in romance, I want to look to see that there's a market and there's other books that are optimized for that. So here, you know, this book's got romance as the first word. Here's another romance book as the first word. Here's another one with the romance, romance, 
romance, romance, and you can just see there they have the first word in the title um, using the word romance. All of these books do almost. And so that's kind of showing us, again, this is another idea for us that we could publish a book on. We could publish a romance book, and we could optimize it for that keyword, romance. So romance would be another market, another idea that you could write down for. And really, there's so many ideas. If I scroll back and look at all the different categories, you can go through the same process and just write down some of these ideas uh, that are here, such as crime, crime fiction, mystery, suspense, thrillers. Uh, if we go back even further and we look into the subcategories, we'll find even more. Uh, so if we go to, for example, science fiction and fantasy, fantasy and science fiction, so that's more. And you just have to dig around on the, the Amazon store to, again, see what's selling, what are the topics, what are the genres uh, of books. And just to verify it just by typing in the Kindle store that keyword – and then look to see if there's other books that have optimized their books for that keyword. That will, again, give us an idea that that's a profitable market. There's other books that are out there on that topic, and we could potentially create a book you know, in that topic, use that keyword, rank it to the top, and make money from it. So, again, in this uh, lesson, I'd encourage you to go through this if you want to pursue fiction. Come up with a variety of different ideas, different markets, different niches. Write them down. And then in the next lesson, lesson number two, we'll go over all that information and identify which ones are the most profitable, have the most uh, or the least amount of competition. And we can make some decisions there on what to move forward with. The exercise for this lesson is to come up with at least 10 profitable niches. And ideally, I'd encourage you to come up with more than that. So just go through the process that I just showed you and come up with as many ideas as you can, ideally at least 10. And then in the next lesson, we'll actually go over that data and pursue the best niche and market for you to pursue with your Kindle book.